Okay, get ready to be shocked. This is me with a full day of beard and moustache growth. Are you ready? Da -da! Hello and welcome to another video in my series Anxiety and Me. In this video I am going to try and tell you about the things that set my anxiety off and yes envelopes will be mentioned. My name's Inwills and welcome to the In Crowd. Remember, if you have enjoyed this video or any of the videos on my channel, then please consider liking, commenting and subscribing. And don't forget to press that bell button so you get a notification when my next video goes live. And if you would like to give a little bit extra of support, then please do click on this QR code that will take you along to my Patreon page where you can support me by giving a monthly donation to this channel. Okay, here I go. Now, please remember, I tried to get all these videos done in one take, so I do apologize for any mishaps or blumbling over, is that a word? Blumbling? Um, over my words as I go through. But today I'm going to talk about what actually sets my anxiety off. Now, before we go anywhere, you might want to go back and watch the previous video that talked about whether or not I am cured of my anxiety because I still have it now. I still have various things that will set it off. Um, so yeah, it's an ongoing battle. Right, the first thing I would like to say is that I try to decide to do it in levels. So like level one, level two, level three, and sort of like increase um, the amount of anxiety I get in various situations. But I thought, no, I can't do that. I'm just going to talk to you and tell you a variety of things. So I apologize if I go between things that slightly set my anxiety off to things that I literally pass out for. Okay, then let's first establish the root of my anxiety. Okay, so going to a clinical psychologist for several years, I worked this out. Well, we worked it out together. My anxiety is all about control. I feel happy when I'm in control. The more control I have, the happier I am. The less control I have, the more anxious I become. And my ongoing battle is trying to relinquish control and still feel happy. And that is still something that I continue to strive for even to this day. So in order to have control, I create, rightly or wrongly, routines. Um, if I'm in a routine, then I am very happy. I feel very content and very pleased with myself. If anything disrupts that routine, whether or not it's family members or other people or things happening in my life, then that sets my anxiety off. And it sounds absolutely pathetic, but I'm afraid that's how it works. Okay then, so what can actually set off my anxiety? Right, first thing is anything that is different to my routine. So for example, on a Saturday, I wake up at a set time, I have breakfast, I always eat the same food at the same time, at the same place. Then I will go and do my food shopping, um, hopefully get into um, Sainsbury's where I shop between quarter to eight and eight o'clock because I need to get to Costa between quarter to nine and nine. Now, it used to be dead on nine o'clock and I'm trying to break that habit. But if somebody said to me, you're going to have to go at half past nine, then that would cause me some anxiety. Not a huge amount, not a passing out amount, but I would be worried. If all of a sudden I have to go into work on a Saturday, that makes me anxious because I can't go into my routine. If um, I have a day at work when I can do my own stuff, then 
I'm very relaxed, very calm. If I've got um, certain things like meetings and teaching, etc., to do, and it's different every day, then I will feel anxious for the majority of the day. So anything that changes my routine, my happy routines, is an issue. And there's certain things that are really small that you would never believe can cause me anxiety. Let me give you an example. Let's talk about envelopes. Now, envelopes are quite innocent things, but every evening when I return home, I open my door and immediately look at the mat. And if there is no envelopes there, if it's completely blank, then I literally feel myself relaxing. If there's a letter there or an envelope there, then that sets off my anxiety. I tr I'm instantly thinking, what is it? What do I need to do? How, what, what is this? Do I, then I go through this awful, do I open it now or just leave it? Do I open it now or just leave it? And for a huge amount of time, I would just put it to one side and try to forget about it, not even looking at it. Um, what I'm trying to do now is open it and deal with it. But that does require a huge amount of brain power. And you might be rolling now laughing, saying who can actually get anxious about envelopes? But yep, I do. I can and I do. Okay, other things that set my anxiety off. Um, somebody parking in my parking space. Now, I have to be very clear here that there are no designated parking spaces where I live. I like to park my car in a set position. It's not even the best position for me, but it's always been there. And one thing is that when I'm driving home, I turn around the corner and I'm immediately looking to see whether or not my space is free. If I can park in it, then that's fine. If I can't park in it, if I have to park anywhere else, then I'm worried that I'm parking my car in somebody else's spot and I'm getting anxious about that. And I can't settle to do anything in the flat. I will try to do something, then I will walk to the window and have a look and see whether or not the, their car has moved. Or every time I hear an engine, I get up and go and see whether or not they've moved. I try to do silly things like wash up a whole load of pots over and over and over again so I can look out the window and not look suspicious. Um, I actually, and this is silly, I know it's silly, I know, I know, I know. But sometimes I will actually say that I should walk somewhere so I don't move my car, if that makes sense. Because I know that if I walk somewhere, I won't move my car and so I won't have that anxiety. Anyway, seating. In Costa, I have a set place that I sit. I sit there so often that the baristas there actually will comment that I'm not sat in the right place. And I will stand in the queue, looking at the table, looking at the table, thinking, don't sit there, don't sit there. I, I actually feel more relaxed if the people in front of me say that they're eat, drinking out and they're going to take away. So all the time, and I, I really get cross. Um, well, I get anxious, which makes me cross when two people come in and instead of both going to the queue one stays in the queue and one goes and sits down and sits down in my seat and it's not even my seat for crying out loud Dean Wills it's not your seat so yeah and sometimes I have to sit somewhere else and as soon as the person moves I just pick everything up and go sit there and I know I know I should try to not do it but it's hard those are quite minor things that set my anxiety off. Um, I can actually wake up in the middle of the night having a panic attack. I have no idea what set it off, but I can actually wake up going <gasps> and not being able to breathe. And I have to quickly get out of bed and go and sit in another room and try to breathe through my nose to try to calm my breathing down. It's the same as breathing into a, black, a brown bag or something. Okay, major things that set my anxiety off. Um, knowing I'm going to have to travel somewhere. I don't travel. I don't travel at all. I, I take so many 
um, travel sickness pills. I'm sure I'm ODing on them, but I hate it. I hate driving anywhere far distances. I very rarely go out of the city I live in. I don't like being a passenger. I don't like trains. I don't like airplanes. I will. I won't go on an airplane. The, the thought of going on an airplane is actually making me feel anxious just thinking about it. I don't like going anywhere like that at all. I'm talking about cars. I hate it when I have to sort something out like car insurance. And I do hate it. And lots of people probably hate it. But I will get panic attacks just thinking about doing it. And so I try to put it off, which is not the best thing to do. I don't like, I get very anxious when I have huge crowds of people, either in town um, or in, I can't, I don't do cinemas. I can't, that is just unbelievable. Plus there's so many germs in there that, that germs and illness and things set my anxiety off. If somebody says, oh, I'm feeling a bit poorly today, that's it. Uh, I actually feel my heartbeat increase and I sort of like start backing away from them. Um, yeah, I can't do social gatherings at all. Um, over Christmas, I went round to my brother's and his new partner's house and I just had to sit there and say nothing. And the reason I'm sat there saying nothing is because I'm trying to keep in control. I was so impolite. I just know it. Um, yeah. Uh, I can't eat out. That sets my anxiety off. Um, I don't like um, public transport. That sets my anxiety off. And I have to be clear with you here. There's a when I say I don't like it, it's not. Oh, I don't like that. When I say I don't like it, I mean that I don't like it, and it sets my anxiety off. So I start to feel very, very anxious and very, very um, worried and my heartbeat go up, I start to sweat, I feel sick, my IBS is set off and everything. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm getting rather depressed at the moment because I'm suddenly thinking that I can't do anything and I probably come across as a little hermit that has no friends and can't leave his flat. Well, I have been there, but I'm getting better. Um, yeah, so hopefully you can see that there's many things that set my anxiety off. I, I've got so many more, and but I, I get this feeling that you're probably either laughing lots at the moment or you're just thinking how pathetic I am. So I'm going to stop it there. I'm going to stop it there. But one thing I want to do in a future video, and I think it's good for me to engage like this, is to talk about recent events when I've been very anxious or how I start to do first things with my anxiety, like the first party that I went to or the first trip on a train that I've been on um, while being anxious. So yeah, if you have enjoyed this video and you've stopped laughing, then by all means do um, consider liking, commenting or subscribing and don't forget to press that bell button. I will be back next time hopefully getting less anxious when I tell you about things. And yeah, I hope this has been helpful to someone. Have fun guys, and I'll catch you all later. And until then, stay calm and breathe. See you later, everyone. Bye. I said guys again.